Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you the multiple different methods of placing buy and sell orders on the OANDA desktop Forex trading platform. So first, we'll start off with the favorites in the Forex tab down towards the bottom left here. As you can see, there are two different tabs. The first one is Forex. This has essentially a list of every Forex instrument on this platform. And it is quite large, so you may waste some time scrolling through here. That's essentially what the favorite section is for. You add the favorite instruments you trade most. That way you have it in one convenient location. All you do is pretty much just click on that instrument and you're ready to place a trade. Now to actually place a trade through either of these menus, you have a couple different options. You'll notice underneath the Forex and favorites tab, there are two little icons here. One is a list menu which lists it vertically as you can see here. The other one is sort of an order ticket menu. You get both the buy and sell sides. If you have one click trading, you can activate your order default or your uh, order quantity from here. It's quite easy. All you need to do is just click on the buy or sell side. Your order confirmation will enter um, open up. And as you can see, depending on which side of the button you do click, the order entry window will automatically um, configure it to that side. So we clicked on the buy side for the euro, yes, dollar. Buy was automatically selected. The market was automatically selected. We have our units in here. And if you aren't already familiar with it, you can set up uh, default order preferences. So things like stop, stop loss, take profit, trailing stops. You can have set up for a default. So anytime you come in this order entry window, everything will automatically be set up for you. Now from there, you have two other options. As you can see, we are currently under market order. If you need advanced order types, such as limits or stops, things like that, I suggest coming through the entry order window. Essentially the same exact thing, but instead of having just a regular market order, you also have an expiry, so you can change that as well. And then you have a couple additional settings here. Pretty much the same thing. All you'll need to do is just set the parameters as needed. We'll just do a basic market order for now. Again, click on buy or sell side as needed. From there, you just pretty much just click submit. I already have a current position, so as you can see, if you do so, it'll reverse that. If we click OK, as you can see, we get that confirmation window. Our order executed at 1.3334 for 10 units. Now, when you do place those trades, everything will be reflected up at the top here. So you do have your trades listed. As you can see, we already did have one unit before, but it was short because I did the opposite. We're now long nine units. You have any active orders. So again, if you do use things such as like limit orders or that advanced order section and they haven't been filled immediately, they'll get placed in the order section. You have your positions here, which as you can see, we have a couple. We have exposure, we have all activity, and then we have some news which doesn't really pertain to this video. So that's that view. For the list view, pretty much the same exact thing. You do get pips also displayed, which is nice here. And then you get your buy and sell sides. Now for this, you'll notice if you maybe click on Euro US dollar here, although it opened up in another window, that'll actually open up a chart. So if you're looking to open up a chart, that's an easy way to do it. If you just want to actually place an order, just click on either buy or sell side. Again, depending on which side you click, the order entry window will automatically configure to that. And again, this pretty much remains the same. You enter in your parameters as needed. Let's put a take profit on this time. Let's sell just one of the euro. Nah, we'll sell 12 of the euro US dollar. If we click submit, it'll reverse our current position. All right, and there you have it. And you can see your position is reflected on the chart there. So that is quite nice as well. Excuse me if there is any background noise. It just started raining. So that is what that noise is. Um, continuing on here, we do have some other options for us to trade. If you click on account, as you can see, this is actually a good way to close out all your uh, orders. But again, this video is for placing orders only. For this, you have the same option pretty much. And again, no matter which way you have um, entered the order entry window through, it remains the exact same. So from here on out, I'm not really going to show you placing trades. I'll just show you the different methods of doing so. 
if you prefer or have different preferences over one or the other. If you do have one click trading on, which I'll show you real quick since it does pertain to this video, I'll go more in depth with it. We do have another video about one click trading. So if you're looking for a way to set up order default preferences, um, that'll pretty much just have your stop loss or your order quantity set to a default. You can change that by yourself. Again, check out our one click trading video on how to do so. But if you would like to activate one click trading, you can click on this order tab here that I showed you before. You'll notice there's a little hand icon like pressing a button. If you click that one click trading is activated and you avoid the order entry window as well as any order confirmations. Continuing on, so again, we covered that buy or sell. In the very top left here, there's also a new trade window. Again, these pretty much are the same exact things. It's just worth mentioning with the account option or the new trade option, you won't actually be clicking through an actual instrument as we would down here. So for that reason, if you do wanna trade a different instrument, you'll just need to come to market and sort through as you may need as you can see this pretty much only shows your favorites so again if you need additional contracts either add them to the favorite menu prehand or you can just click on the forex tab and just go through that route to take a view of everything now finally i'd also like to show you that it's also possible to trade through the chart which many traders may find helpful if they need a visual reference rather than just trading based off of price you can do so by simply just right clicking anywhere on a chart. And as you can see, I actually, again, covered in the one click trading video, but we have order preferences set here. I actually set my order quantity to 10. So that's why you're seeing 10. If you haven't set anything up there, you'll just see one. But again, this opens and is pertaining to whatever chart you have open here. So again, we have the Euro US dollar. Remember, I did show you if you just click on one of the options here, it will open up a chart for that contract. But as we can see here in this right click context menu, all my different order options here are pertaining to your Euro, Euro US dollar. We do get some defaults of buy and sell at specific prices. So again, wherever you right click on and it makes it quite easy since we have a crosshair activated, you can see your price that you're currently hovering over and that you may be about to trade. On your y-axis there if not again you do have the just market uh, buttons that you can buy or sell with it's also quite nice that you do have the option to just close out all trades from here as well but other than that that just about covers all the different ways to actually place buy and sell orders did show you some unique other options there as well one last thing, I just noticed that you do have buy and sell buttons up here as well, but that'll wrap it up for all the different buy and sell options on uh, a Wanda desktop. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more a Wanda desktop content. If you do have any questions on this video, please post them in the comment section below or head over to our community forum, which is linked in the description. You can post any questions you have there as well. We're always monitoring. so. For a quick response, please post them over there. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful.